All right, good evening, y'all. Here's a quick tutorial on how to pound a sand point well. There it is. You need that, your little pounder upper thingy. You can probably get one from your local farmer. But the most important thing I want to show everybody is make sure you get these. And I'll show you why. I already pounded one point and the thread stripped out on my pipe because I was using these. These are the cheap little guys that you get right next to the uh, to all you, where all your galvanized pipe is. You're going to want this bad boy. Made in China. Get made in the USA if you can, but you can tell how much beefier that thing is especially the inside. Plus, you can stick this right on your pipe and use that to drive it down. You don't need a driving cap. Right there, drive coupling. Well, I'm taking a little break here from pounding. There's a couple other things, I guess a little useful information. Uh, number one, after you do this, would be a great time to go to the beach. Because your arms are going to be pretty pumped up. You have your veins sticking out. I mean, I'm already pretty much made of steel anyway, but it's just, you know, you just tend to look a little bit, a little bit more cut. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is, this is what happened to my last uh, drive cap, I believe they call it. The threads, I was hitting it and the uh, threads all broke. Now this thing won't, won't spin off. It's stuck on there. And it goes up and down um, so that's kind of why I found these like I showed you before and you don't have to use a drive cap you can just throw these right these babies right on and start pounding away on it all right we're gonna keep going all right we're ready to put another segment of pipe in As you can see, <clears throat> that's what I'm using for my for my drive. Instead of using a cap, which as you saw what happened in the last one, I found these and they're a lot better. Um, always when putting another pipe on, make sure you uh, really lube her up using this stuff. Some pipe, pipe compound. Um, yeah, so we're gonna add another pipe. Also, before you start pounding, make sure you tighten this down just in case it um, has loosened, which is exactly what happened to me on my other well that's way down there somewhere. So tighten this up, add your other pipe, and seriously, tighten it down as hard as you can. Go get your girlfriend if you need help. Uh, before I add another pipe, I'm going to check, see if we have water. Pretty simple. Take a piece of string. Tie it to something, something that won't get stuck in your pipe. Drop her down. Hear that? That's water. So we're going to see how much water we have. Well, I got a three foot point and that water is well past three feet. So we're good to go. We don't need to pound anymore. Now we can add our pump and start pumping fresh water. So here's another little Indian trick or an old wife's tale. It's one of the two, I'm not sure. Um, you wanna know if you're in a good vein of water Grab a hose if you have one and start filling this sucker full of water. If it overflows, that means you don't have a good vein. This water should just keep flowing into the ground with no problems. This pipe should never fill up with water. And this pipe is only 14 feet in the ground. And it's still going. So we're probably in a good vein here, but I'm going to let it go for another few more minutes. 
but I think we're good. All right, the last couple steps. After you found water, like I just showed you, make sure you put your check valve in. If you don't, you're gonna have problems, or you'll just burn out your pump. Um, and then you can do whatever you want here. I just happened to put a T on, little cap in case I ever need to pour water in here or whatever. Um, probably will never need to, but it's there anyway. Um, then yeah, hook your pump into your pipe, fill your pump up right here, hook a hose up to here, let that sucker run for quite a while, get all the sediment out, and then uh, send your water in to get tested if you're going to drink it. Other than that, you should be good to go. Any questions, shoot me a message below. All right, so next day I kind of changed my fittings. I went and got a union just in case I need to replace this pump anytime soon, but I got it all wired up, got it primed up. Got a hose running outside. And as you can see, it's probably working because I'm washing my truck. Since you gotta let this run for a while and get all the sediment out. But we got lots of water. We got pretty much 10 gallons a minute on the dot. So there you go.